All right, 46. What is the domain of the piecewise function? Okay. Pay attention. Some features of a piecewise function. f of x equals, and it'll equal more than one expression. <coughs> this one equals two different expressions. See that? The question is, when do we use the top one or when do we use the bottom one? If your x value that you're plugging in is greater than or equal to 1, you would plug it into the top equation. If your x value is less than 1, you would plug it into the bottom equation. That's how this works. To find your domain of piecewise functions, it's always right here. So what x values are represented if I'm looking at x greater than or equal to 1 and x less than 1? What values does that cover? All of them. All of them. Yes. So our domain would be all real numbers. They are. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. So my mom took me over. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, so she knows that. Yeah. Okay, guys, she's like, I just have a green with everything. Oh, you're great. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you. Bye. Alright, All right, so 46th answer is all real numbers. For the domain. Any questions on that? Alright, 40. Yes, sir. Thank you for asking. Um, piecewise functions. Are you able to recognize that that's a piecewise function? Because it's got two different parts to it. It's got the little brace with the two parts. Okay? Good afternoon. Seniors, you are dismissed. Only seniors with a senior ID dismissed at this time. Thank you. Have a great evening. The domain, Try to stay warm. The domain is always found over here on the right-hand side. Think of all the numbers on a number line that are greater than or equal to 1. Attention faculty, there is a faculty meeting today at 310 in the cafeteria. Again, faculty meeting, reminder, faculty meeting today at 310 in the cafeteria. Thank you. Okay, and then think about, shh, think about all the numbers on that same number line that are less than one. So what numbers on that number line are we talking about? Less than one and also greater than or equal to one. Would that be all the numbers? That's why it's all the numbers. All right, so we'll stop there.